Now I want to move into a couple of the more powerful capabilities of the labeler. And the first one that I want to talk about is something called locate along. So this lets me generate a series of labels along a piece of, of geometry or graphics at some sort of an increment. Now that increment can be a number of things. Um, you can specify to put labels at vertices. In addition, you can specify what kind of an increment you want to follow. And if that increment gets corrected up to even stations at the start of the piece of geometry, so if you had an odd start station, do you want to just literally go the interval from that? Or do you want to correct up to the next even and then go that interval beyond that? Same thing with station equations. When you pass over an equation, do you want to just keep going on the interval? Or do you want to correct up at the station equation and then start the interval over from there? So let's take a look at this locate along in practice. Here I've got two alignments, the blue and the purple kind of pieces of geometry that we're going to label along. And I'm going to start by labeling along the blue geometry. And the label that I've got set up here is going to grab the elevation from that piece of geometry and label it every 25 feet. So we'll place that, pick the piece of geometry, accept it, and it's placed those labels. The text on these is horizontal because that's how we have our rotation currently set up. Maybe that's not what you wanted. You could come in and adjust, uh, delete those out of there. I'm going to go replace those with a normal orientation or perpendicular orientation to the line, and we can generate that. Now, you may notice and say, hey, there's a little kink in the lines. Well, that's because the way I have this label set up, it's perpendicular to the center of the piece of text. If you wanted to go to the bottom of the piece of text, you could do that as well. Another capability that you have with the along is you can produce the label, the end of the leader, at an offset to the geometry. So instead of being right on the geometry, I'm going to tell it to offset 10 feet. Now these offset settings over on the far right side are where the label itself is created. So here we're generating the labels again. The leaders are pointing to a position 10 foot offset from that blue line. And then that label itself is about 30 foot offset from that line. Now let me reset those offsets and let's get right back on the line again. And I want to go place some labels down this purple line for a minute. I'm just going to place the same label that we have before. And I want you to notice that it's reading elevations of zero. This line has a just a flat profile on it at elevation zero. Whereas that other line, uh, that other piece of geometry had elevations in the 20 foot kind of range. What I would like to do is place the labels along this purple line, just like we see here. But I wanted to project over to the blue line and get the elevations from there. Maybe I'm locating uh, along my center or my uh, edge of pavement or around a curb return and I want to project back to the center line to get elevations or stations or some sort of value like that. To get to the setting that I need to change here, I'm going to put it into the manager mode. This is a little bit more advanced setting. Typically, if you're going to set up a label for this, you would just create two labels. But what we're going to do currently, my label is set up that the along is going to be the same as target one, which was my baseline. And I'm going to change it to say, well, no, my along, I want to identify. I want to select that separately. So watching my prompts, I now select my baseline geometry, and I get a second prompt now to select the along element. We've changed the behavior of the command just by adjusting that. Now it's placing those labels along the purple geometry every 25 feet, but it's reading the elevations by projecting perpendicular back to the blue geometry. The other really kind of advanced projection between a couple geometries we have is a method called locate projection intersection. And this is where you might even want a little more control over how it's doing the projection. Which alignment is it perpendicular to? Or I want to compute offsets between these. I want to actually do some sort of delta calculations between these, not just read information from the other one. The along is just going to go read something from the other one. This one's going to allow you to do some of those delta calculations. 
we're going to look at a couple different examples here. So the first example, I'm going to label at an even increment every 50 feet along the blue piece of geometry, but I'm going to put the labels on the purple piece. And this label that I'm using labels the stations and offsets of the stations of both alignments and the offset of the alignment between them. So I pick the two alignments and I let that label. So if you notice the text in there, it's got the two stations for the blue line and the purple line as well as the offset. Now using our analyze point tool, I can go perpendicular from the blue line and you can see if I follow along at these 50 foot tick marks and project across, that's exactly where those labels are. They're not at an even distance on the purple line, they're at an even interval, 50 foot interval on the blue line, but projected over to the purple. Now I'm going to change the projection to project normal two, and I'm going to select the lines in the exact same order. The blue is my base, the purple is my projection. The labels look similar, but if we go and we run our place point command or analyze point command, and I line up on these tick marks on the blue line where it should project across, you see that the labels are not lining up. So what's going on? Well, those labels are still at an even 50 foot interval along the blue line, but they're now being projected perpendicular to the purple line. So notice as I go perpendicular to the purple line now, they are all lined up in the proper location. We'll delete those and look at one more option here. In this case, I want those labels to be at an even 50 foot interval on the purple line but I want it to compute the same way and project back. Once again, we're gonna go into the more advanced options with this. And when I turn those on, the management options, I can control here or define for my label what the projection from is set to. So instead of projecting from the blue line, target one, like I had before, I'm gonna prompt for it and let me select that. So now I can place the labels along that purple line and control the projection back. So we'll see the labels are nicely placed every 50 foot along the purple line. But what's important is what station is it computing for the blue line? And if you look at this, it is projecting back and computing the station that is perpendicular from the blue line, even though the stations or the labels are placed along the purple. I went through that kind of quick, both the locate along and the locate projected. I know it's kind of a lot to cover there, but that's why these things are recorded and out there so you can go back and watch this again and try it yourself and kind of piece that together. But hopefully that kind of shows you some of the power that exists within the Civil Labeler tool with these different kinds of projections. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.